Good morning. This is Mark Sebastian, founder of OptionPit.com, with your AM volatility report. Reminder, hey, guess what we got coming? We got the four-day beginner boot camp. It's going to be awesome. Get your. Uh, it's going to start February 24th, and it's going to be a really good time. It's going to be me and Andrew, and we're going to learn a lot of different stuff. Uh, learning to sell options, learn to buy options, basics. So if you're a beginner, this is for you. If you are not, this is not for you. So let's talk about what's going on in the markets. Well, a little bit of a choppy day on the open. We've seen the S&P gap up 13, and we've seen them uh, then fall off. And we've now got a market that went, that is really fluttered around and really in the last two minutes dropped at six points. Uh, the VIX, which was up about two bucks yesterday on a 35 point sell off, is now up 50 cents on a one point sell off. So we're starting to see an expansion of fear, an expansion of, uh, you know, or an expansion of risk, risk aversion, if you will. And um, some, some fear in the market. Now, obviously, we're just at the first 20 minutes in. Who knows where that will go? All right. Things can change. But, uh, you know, that's generally, you know, the way things are lining up here. The, the things are lining up like there's a little bit of embedded fear in the market. Now, that could change, you know, we're, like, like I said. But... For now, I don't think it's a great sign that we just gave away 15 bucks in about 20 minutes. Uh, Dow's, the Dow was up 100 points on the open. So we're lining up for a little continuation of yesterday's sell-off. And, and where does that really start? Well, let's take a look at IEF. Now, what is IEF? This is an ETF that you probably don't know a lot about. But if you don't, you should. This is 7- to 10-year bonds. All right. Now, I want you to think about something. Usually, when rates are rising, what is happening to bond prices in a normalized market? Yeah. Now, what's happening to bond prices in this market? They're rallying. So there is a major disconnect between the bond market where rates are, where the Fed wants rates to go, and where risk is. The only reason why bonds could be moving like this is a total flight to safety and a grasp for U.S. dollars. So there is something in the bond market telling us that something is wrong. There's something in VIX staying backwards. You know, we wrote on our blog yesterday, futures are stubbornly backward in VIX. There's something going on in VIX where despite, you know, a little slowdown movement, VIX futures are stubbornly backward, even if they're trading at a premium to the cash. And VIX is staying near 100. All right. There is some real issue there. You know, that that's kind of my point. And you know, the vol futures aren't moving crazily today. But clearly something's amiss. So what now? Well, we still have non-farm payrolls this week. That could be a drag. ADP came out today, that was nice. You still have some softness in a lot of the big tech names. I mean, look at Amazon. Apple's trading 95 bucks. Amazon's getting slapped. Google's down after blowout earnings. Facebook down a buck fifty. Money is coming off the table. So, you know, who knows where things might go? All right, we are flat on the day, and for all we know, things could flatten up. All right, but here's what I can tell you: is we're back. Here's the final piece. Watch oil, and then watch uh, or watch treasuries. Watch oil. We're back correlating with oil a little bit again. 
when oil, if oil is going to drop, if USO is going to drop again like this, we get a, another new threat to the lows and oil, and oil, USO, W2TI, it doesn't really matter. You know, the price itself isn't great for USO, but how it moves on a daily basis is a pretty good track for oil. If oil backs off, uh, we could see some, some real problem. There, there's something going on that is maybe a little beyond me right now in terms of worldwide financial markets, and it's setting up some fear in the market. So I think that we have an, a collision course in SPX. Back with kind of the 1870 level. That's the way I think things line up. Uh, I think if we're not down on the day well, today, we're going to be significantly lower by the week's end, even with a good non-farm. That's that's the way things set up. And I think VIX is going to make another run at 25. Uh, just the way everything is uh, is situated. Uh, so where is there some opportunity? Um, I think despite the high price of oil of oil volatility, there's some setups there. We looked in TLT, at uh, which is the longer, longer term bond trade, at a straddle play that we really like in the, in the pit report, and I think that's going to work out well. And then we're looking at, um, I think things are starting to line up in, I mean, financials just keep getting abused. And at a certain point, there's going to be an opportunity to trade around that. And I think there is some opportunity forming in financials to the savvy, the savvy trader. And uh, that is what we're going to spend our time on in the pit report today. All right, folks. Uh, again, go to optipit.com slash, um, slash events to sign up for the boot camp. And give it, shoot me an email marketoptionpit.com or call me 888-TRADE-01 if you have questions. Uh, oh, just as a reminder, this is for educational purposes only. None of what you just heard should be considered uh, anything but education, not investment advice. Uh, financial professional options have risk. Have a good one, everybody.